Yeah. Oh, welcome back to Geek Out Gaijin, and this time we're back with another video game and toy hunt. And during my travels and my searches for various places where we can do our video game and toy hunt, I have gone through the usual suspects like Book Up, Hard Off, Toy Planet, Mandai Shoten, uh, Guru Guru, and all of those that you may seem to be all too familiar with and it might seem too redundant at times but they are all different places but this time this episode we actually found a video game and toy store that has a different name on it and its name is A2 and as always I am your Pinoy Otaku in Japan but not in Tokyo Hagi Potato let's go <music> Okay guys, right off the bat, as soon as we enter, we're already greeted with this huge amount of figures right here. They also have a gachapon style showcase right here. Uh, might as well try, might, might. I always say this because, oh, might try it. I'm not really sure. So let's dig through this. Let's try to do another full tour about the place. It's a little, the, the real estate is a little bit small, but it's jam packed as you can see. So <laughs> let's go through all of this really excited i really didn't expect much about this place before getting here because the pictures on google map is not really that showy <laughs> the tour for a little bit and I just want to comment there is really good inventory here it's just that everything is not properly organized but I like digging through stuff and it's cool here so I don't really mind but uh, upon what I have first initially seen most of their price are a little bit on the high end but we'll get to see later on if we do find anything that's really cheap or something This seems to be the special price figures or rather the ones that are a little bit on the cheap side like this one we found a Junpei Iori I hate this guy on first one or three but he looks so damn cute and it would go really well with my Aegis figure YP got something
of the Jigging figure section. Not really that much when it comes to selection, but they do have some rare items like the Chewie over there. And I'm thinking I'm about getting this one. Really, really, really nice Kasumi figure, and it's on her black suit. I already I have the classic pose one, the one where she's wearing the classic blue suit, but this one looks really really nice very nice price but i'm gonna think about it since it's over two thousand that happened to me during my toy hunts is when I stopped building Gunpla is when I, I seem to find the, the Gunplas that I have been trying to look for during my hunts before and they are priced at really good prices just look at this Shining Gun 2800 yen that's a really good deal if you're trying to find that one so many great Gunpla right here one of the big ups on this particular toy store i'm calling maybe i'm selfish out i want you to myself i can't help it oh my yeah maybe i'm selfish you're my ladies and i can't maybe i'm selfish let i want you to myself i can't help it okay so i just found out what is the one thing that this particular store does not have much of is that uh comic book heroes or rather uh american american figures like the marbles and the dcs they have a lot of stuff filed here but uh, the selection is not really that much it's just for show or something except for this one this one is kind of nostalgic for me because I played Pepsi man and this is the particular game where they inspired Temple Run and those similar games that most kids these days play on mobile <laughs> Time to go up to the video game, uh, video game section. It's on the second floor. Okay, guys, on our way up to the video game section, we saw this. This is a sharp Famicom. This is a family computer with an audio AV cable uh, on it. So no need to modify the particular console if you want to connect it to your modern TVs. Price at 36,000 yen. I think that's fair because it has a box and the manuals on it. But they also have this one, the, the one out of the box. It's 8,800 yen. So very fair pricing, not too, not too high, not, not too low. 
If I knew that the PlayStation Vita TV would be priced at this much by this time, I would have bought it before when it was below 10,000 yen. gonna rate what ha uh, narrate what's happening right now uh, at this particular moment on this video I am actually very exhausted and very overwhelmed at what are the choices that I have at this particular store I mean here in the video game section so much awesome stuff that I ended up not getting anything from this particular section i wanted that assassin's creed collector's edition i wanted that particular uh, uh fighting stick for my playstation 2 so much great stuff that i was so overwhelmed and i ended up not getting anything <laughs> speechless because this is a small store but it's really jam-packed to the brim that uh, the other stores that we have been to, been to should be ashamed that even though this is small it is really really jam-packed I'm here at the arcade sticks for the PlayStation 2 and I have seen so many things that I want to buy but I just placed the things that are cheap on my cart and kind of a little bit bre uh, breathless because in the second floor is a little bit hotter compared to the first floor where it's cool and I'm not sure when we will be finished digging through all of this 2000 years later hey guys okay so take a look at this this is uh king of fighters maximum impact this is a regular copy priced at 2300 and here's the special edition priced at 550 this one comes with a dvd here you go and uh it's so crazy that the special edition cost way way less than the normal edition so that is one of the things that really confused me when I go on video game and toy hunts overwhelmed my mind almost blew up because of overthinking which one I should get and I ended up getting Teddy with the TV and my wife got herself Robin of Stranger Things Q Posket so I think she's done collecting Q Posket not really sure uh, that's oh yeah she still needs to find that demo board one so there's that and also uh, 
as far as my opinions and thoughts about A2 really really and I cannot stress this enough really awesome store great selection of the retro video games an awesome selection of figures some hit and miss they have a really great inventory of Gundam and so much great stuff if you are in the area this is worth going out of your way to check out really compact place but so much inventory inside so really really recommend it and that is it for our video game and toy hunt this week this geek is out of here